Hello everyone and welcome to the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth uh, demo. I, if, uh, if you've watched our live stream earlier, I actually did not bother to watch the state of play because I'm kind of convinced to buy this game. You don't have to sell me any further and I don't need to be spoiled any further. However, I do want to play. <laughs> I want to play this. I want to see what it's all about. Uh, I just want to get that little taste to see what we can expect from uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And I am extremely excited. In fact, I'm going to bounce the audio a little bit here. Turn this down just a bit. Hopefully that all sounds good. Apologies for the setup currently. I didn't have a good, great way of involving our live audience for this uh, setup. And I'll have to move around my own uh, camera, uh, depending on where the UI is and all that stuff. But we'll, we'll figure it out. Make, we find that best place. Um, but yeah, we are here for some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, I know I had to wait a long time for this thing to download. I know some people got it already. Some people uh, ha are still waiting. So yeah, we're just going to experience this together and see what it's all about. <sighs> hey, Kev hey, Kevin. <laughs> all right. Let's not waste any time. I hear this is about an hour and a half. Looks like we have a story so far, which we don't, we're not going to worry about that. And, oh, we're actually, okay, so this actually is taking uh, part in the uh, Nibelheim, during the Nibelheim incident. Oh, wow, completing the demo will allow you to skip this portion of the story in full release. So you don't have to, so you don't carry over the progress, but you do get to skip this section. That's interesting. So it's, it's a little different, but uh, I probably won't skip. <laughs> I want to experience the full thing, you know, that whole, uh, you know, you want to see what's going on. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's experience the fall of a hero in Nibelheim. Um, oh, wow, Jacob, you, you've known absolutely nothing about this game. I mean, literally never played any Final Fantasy game. Well, let's see if this sells you on it. Keep it active. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what we got here. Basically, all you need to know for this is it's a flashback. And this is what takes place in Remake. What in the world? Oh god, that's crisp. I just put you right in that action. Have a highlight reel of the ending I'm of waiting, Remake. Cloud. Well, holy crap! <laughs> All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's... It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. What little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Zephyr. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. That's cool. <laughs> what a great way to just put you right in it. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. <laughs> Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. It's so funny seeing Peppy Cloud. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, rein it in. Sorry. Hell can do. Kids. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. 
<laughs> really? Finally make first, and what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Lutai. Stealing my shot at glory. <laughs> I love how he's playing this. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. Uh, fine. Job's a job, I guess. I gotta say, the mannerisms are it? perfect. Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends at R12! Let's go. Alright, here we go. Alright, a baby cloud is adorable. Ooh, look at these bad boys. You take one, I'll take the other. That was quick. Yep, he's just as overpowered as before. <laughs> Wait in the truck. No way, I got this. <laughs> Poor Cloud. Ah. Uh. Get the friggin' play of Sephiroth! That's cool! <laughs> Pure set fan service and I am all for it. He was in a different league from the rest of us. No kidding! <laughs> Who would have guessed? Yep, oh, they made it to calm. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Wonder why they did choose Sephiroth for this mission. The music is straight up. Home sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, 400 tracks? Best, Holy crap, right? Crim Crimson Crackers. A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father... Oh there. Genova? Like from the Shira building? <laughs> nice yeah. effect. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. What a nice guy. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander. The mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. If they keep the orthopedic underwear uh, part, I'm going to laugh my butt off. 
All right, press uh, that to open a main menu. From there, you can review your party stats, inspect your inventory, all that stuff from before. Uh, get the ro roll or jump. Okay. Okay. What do we got? Oh wow! Check out the new menu. Uh, pause when you open up photo mode. Well, active time will stop allowing you to manipulate. Oh, there you go. Unlock new filters. Holy crap. Okay. That's. Okay, we can't do that. But we have ice, healing, and fire. Good to know. Can't change anything, of course. Not too surprising. Okay, plenty of items. And not with us. Okay. God, I this this is looking fantastic. This This ah, man. So much more flavor. And gosh, I just played Integrate. I think the map is upgraded in the top right corner as well. Like I actually show the layout of the town. Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. Wow. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Might also just be me, but I don't think Cloud feels as heavy. How's it going over there? As he did before? Oh, we got a terrain action. You're gonna save me. Must have been quite the track. Where's the? Uh... Oh, okay, we go over there. So it's not. It's not as automatic as before. You actually have to keep an eye out for the terrain action. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> She's trying to help me round up food for dinner. Hey, The stamp theme song has infected Nibelheim. I love how the terrain action system is slightly janky. <laughs> Kids, that's uh. Please remain. I already feel safe now that soldiers. That's gonna make the future uh a little <laughs> awkward. Good luck out there. What if we're gonna get the entire Nibelheim Nibelheim oh, sequence? Dead tree in the distance. There's the reactor. That's a nice touch. For Barrett mentioned that it's the first reactor, and it absolutely looks old compared to the reactors you see in Midgar. You still got energy after I don't know if I ever noticed that before in the original game. Nothing to report here. Or if that was a thing in the original game. Please just let it be a quiet day. Everyone keeps their eyes out for the beams in the other. Sure feels good to have soldiers on our side. See, is there a way to bring up another map? No. Oh, well there we go, there's the map. <laughs> Convenient. The 
Nidhogg Hotel. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. <laughs> the layout. The layout of the town square is almost is exactly the same. I mean, it should be that surprising, but still. City folk are so sophisticated. I can only imagine what their lives must be like. Hmm. Nice. A soldier. And you are? Rashard Zangan. <laughs> Zangan, humble yes. Humble traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Freaking Zangan. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I don't know, he's looking pretty good for his age. age. At last count, 128. We never got to In really fact, meet Zangon before. One of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know. Girls are not taking that slander. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. I wonder if he's from Wutai. Should you need my help, just say the word. Love the parachute pants. Honestly, Zangon ba barely got any attention in the original, so it's it's nice that it uh, ah, he gets that little extra. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boy. So take your pick. You'll find them just up. Huh? No. Cloud. My, my, get a load of you, and you've only been away a couple of years. <laughs> well, actually, traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. He's about to do the hammer dance. Traveling with the Sephiroth now? Okay, Mr. Big Shot. Oh, uh, Rick Chop, if you, you should recognize Zongun's voice. He, uh, I forget his actor's name, but it's uh, the same voice actor as... Um, Oh, I'm blanking on the character's name. Persona 5, your guardian in that. The one who, the one who runs the coffee shop. Uh, I see that ruby red sunset, and I see the, the, the pieces there. It honestly just reminds me of ruby weapon. Hopefully it gives a warning if I'm about to accidentally uh, end things. Honestly, not a bad room. That's a really good room for... Actually, oh, well, there you go. that explains it. There's only one room at the end. Sojiro, that's it. Thank you. Goodness, is that you, Cloud? Okay, just don't go in there. Uh, the survey team is the coolest. And why didn't I miss like everyone else when I had the chance? Okay, stay away from that. <laughs> ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh! Oh, I didn't see the boy. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. 
I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. You're so cool. <laughs> I love how lived in this feels. Like, obviously we got that in Midgar, but to have that sort of small town feeling and like a legit item shop, rather than just something from the slums. Keep in Goku that spirit, the spirit energy. Let's check out the rest of the buildings first. And having a marking on there makes me a little nervous. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Everyone, please. Still have a little bit of greenery here. I love that everybody recognizes. Well, a lot of people recognize us. That's a good, that's that's fine. Uh, I thought one of the, is this? I thought this was Tifa's house right here, which is the building I can't go into. We got a radio back. Ever since we heard a survey team was coming, we've been working our fingers to the bone. You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Nah. Could you keep up? I'd like to see That's <laughs> you worked out with everyone. Weak betray a weak mind. <laughs> Takes me back. That's, That's what I want. You. Love the commentary. Oh, didn't even mean to get caught in this. <laughs> Group workouts are so Japan, yeah, for sure. More of a stretch, really. Oh, cats. Oh, wedge. <laughs> it's a very addictive workout. Make sure you're prepared for a tough hike tomorrow. Okay, that looks like the edge. So we'll head inside that building and then the uh is that the is that supposed to be the Shinra Mansion? It's a slightly different place. Then I stop on my mouse. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> Let's meet Cloud's mom. I have not played the piano yet. Ah, yes, the House of Strife. When I was a kid. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. I'll be right there. Claudia. Oh, that's perfect. I don't think we got her name before. Cloud, is that you? Hey. Definitely takes Let after his mother. On. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. So this is why he looks so good in so drag. That's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. <laughs> the man you've become. We did in the OG game. I can't, it's been a while. 
Not really. Exact line. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. Exact lines. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? Love the haptics. You're my you get a little burst every time it glitches like that. Okay, that's enough. See if we can go in here. Okay. I think that's everything. Oh, we can't go in Tifa's house. Pretty sure this is Tifa's house, though. Bummer. President Shinra? No, 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 the mayor. I'm climbing the tower now. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess. After two years away and all that. Uh huh. Oh, I have to climb the tower first in order to see your window. Oh, I get it. Okay. So I was... Okay, rest at the end after I'm done exploring. Okay, cool. At least my memories were good enough that I remembered that uh, this was Tifa's house. Huh? You went to my place? Yeah. <laughs> I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> but most of them had to do with you. Barrett is entirely right. <laughs> oh, look at that. Built in. That's a tall cat tree. Holy crap. At least I think that's a cat tree. Remember my cat? Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing. And that day was no different. I saw somebody asking what's the importance of Tifa's house. house? Nothing too crazy, but um, there's little Easter eggs here and there, and there's sort of an infamous thing you could find <laughs> in Tifa's room. Oh yeah, the, the, this game loves its cats. God, the presentation, like, it's, it's, a, it's small things, but having the little bottle next for, of ether next to the pickups, I don't know, it just, it, it does feel like an improvement. It's a nice, it's a really nice touch. You went into my room? I did. <laughs> Cowboy's Place. Chocobo Racing? Oh god, Chocobo Racing. Good whiskey, gambling, dancing, and beer. Oh, 
Oh, uh, yeah, I can look right out the water tower from here. Aw, oh, she has a little Moogle doll. And a bunch of pictures. I love the little details. Ah, the cowboy boots and her hat. The cowboy hat. Don't worry, I'll, I'll check out the piano. But first... You went through my stuff? I have to. Cloud! You asshole! <laughs> I'm sure that hurts your point. So here's the thing. I am positive that hurts your chances yeah, to on relationships. So it damages it with, with both of them to uh, make the, the, the date at Gold Saucer a little harder for either one of those. So if you want to go out with Barrett or probably uh, uh, Yuffie, there you go. That's how you do that. And yeah, in the original Amy, <laughs> I had to see this. She's shaking, my, Amy's over here. She's shaking her head at me. In the original, when you went through her stuff, you could find orthopedic underwear and choose to put it on. <laughs> and she'd give you heck. Final Fantasy VII is a very strange game. Oh my gosh. Make a splash in your vac- Well, we'll see where she got the idea for the dolphin blow at. Alright. Inspect pianos you encounter to start tickling the ivories and perform pieces of- in poor, Perform pieces using sheet music you've acquired. I'm actually really glad that's avail- uh, that uh, I- I can do- that this is in the demo. Uh, as far as the, uh, checking that thing out because I want to make sure I get the proper date. <laughs> Did you actually play it? Went to town on it. Let's see how well we play Tifa's theme. Oh my gosh. Press uh, the touchpad to select a piece you would like to perform. When performing a piece, tilt R and L in the time with the notes uh, drifting out from the center to play both the melody and the accompanying chords. Virtual pianist can increase the note scroll speed for an even greater challenge. What the hell? This is way more involved than I thought. Alright, well... Oh my god, you actually get ranked on this thing. This is way more involved than I thought it was going to be. This is a trophy just waiting to happen. Oh God. <laughs> This is the slow version too. <laughs> I get so focused on the ru Oh, okay. Okay, I see now. I'm getting the hang of it. It 
It really feels flat when you mess it up. Because you know how this song is supposed to go. <laughs> Piano hero. Alright, I'll take a B. That's not too shabby. Close to a... To an A. All right, let's let's be let's let's feel some pain. Play it on uh, <laughs> play it on the hardest, and see how badly I do. They don't make you retry. This is completely optional. I guarantee this is just trophy fodder. All right, let's see how bad I do. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so there's no difference in score, as far as I can tell. It's just the speed. Oh, God. <laughs> nope. Oh, I can't do it. I, I, I feel too bad. I, I can't mess up this wonderful song. All right. Should we... Uh, <laughs> should we attempt... To, uh, should we attempt to try to get the S or just uh, move on? I'll let everybody else decide on that one. Tifa Steam butchered. I know, I can't let that happen. What do you guys think? Actually try to complete Tifa Steam on S rank or just move on and see what else we got. Go to the end. Fortunately, it does not seem like you need to uh, turn up the note speed. That doesn't seem 100% necessary. Move on, no more butchering. <laughs> Fine, I'll butcher it on my own time. <laughs> wow, where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you gotta play for us sometime. Well, shit, you're a merc of many times. <laughs> okay, if I had to guess, playing well at the piano, at least during this, is how you boost your uh, affinity with everybody. Oh, this is open now. Town hall, so not the mansion. This is quite different. Oh, it reminds me of Pokemon Center just having... Whoops, sorry about your chair. <laughs> Do our village proud. You got a lot to say there, Xander. Oh, I'll be telling everyone how I welcome the great Sephiroth to town till the day I die. Now that Sephiroth's here, those beasts are toast. This must be where they talked. Okay, not a whole lot here in the hall. But that's okay. Alright, let's go to the inn. Wait, who are you? Sephiroth's at the inn. I tried to sneak a shot of him, but my oh, it's a photographer. Right you want me to take your photo? Sorry, but I can't afford to waste my film on... Uh, who are you again? Mind asking Sephiroth to come out? <laughs> Did I eat the sandwiches? There were sandwiches? I want to eat the sandwiches. Now that Sephiroth's here, those beasts are toast. Iconic photo time? Yeah, exactly. It'll take you a while, kid. Go right and speak to the woman for the sandwiches. Hey, bro, let me get a good look at that sword. Outside or inside? Well, as I live and breathe, 
Oh. Aha, here we go. Soldier, Thank you. Good to see you. How about a taste of home before you go? <laughs> that is a very square sandwich. Is that cloud? Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. Holy crap. He ate that entire thing in three bites. Eat up, Cloud. You still got room to grow, you know. You remember these pork sandwiches, don't you? They're exactly like the ones Mrs. Tyler used to make. <laughs> My I'm God, sure Cloud! You've taken them as snacks on a play date before. Wait, did you go on any play dates? Feel stuffed. Claudia oh boy. must be so proud of what a fine young man you've become. Take care of yourself. You'll be oh God! <laughs> at home, won't you? Maybe I'll pay your mother a visit. Oh, but I shouldn't impose. You two must have a lot of catching up to do. <laughs> You will not have room for supper tonight. Oh God! Don't be a stranger now, Cloud. I know your mother would be happy to see you much more often. Don't be a stranger. Okay, three now, sandwiches Cloud. are my limit. I know your mother would be happy to see you much more often. He just inhales those things. Oh God! Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Come on, that's enough! Please, go back to your homes! Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. <laughs> Keep in mind, God, Cloud's a guy who believes in breaking limits. Time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. Honestly, he could take on the uh, Big Bang Burger Challenge, no, no issue. What are you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right. Will do. I like the shifts in performances to make Cloud a bit more upbeat and Sephiroth, well, same thing. Night. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? Yeah, I was surprised too. <laughs> you know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> <laughs> nice callback. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir, I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter is- Dad! Tifa. Cowboy Tifa, or Cowgirl you Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Spunky and, rebe and rebellious. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? Love this song. Sure this song. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. <laughs> For a posterity, sir? Not today. Can you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It'd mean a lot to us. <laughs> it's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Oh yeah, there's the bridge! Thanks. 
Say cheese. Sounds like you were having a good time. One more. Yeah. I guess we were. Waiter. For a while. He said one photo. The reactor was halfway up Mount Evil. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. All right, hold R2 and press uh, Smith to say stop moving. I'll let you automatically perform terrain actions. Got it. Ah, there's the Shinra Mansion. Not let me run, but I'll see if I can head towards it. Uh, warning. All right, fine. Fine. Oh, wow, this really is just the opening. We're getting credits. You probably already know this, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time, but none with such a breathtaking view. Who could tire of it? Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. <laughs> trips? I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you <laughs> do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Chill Sephiroth is like honestly kind of belays the tragedy of him. He was kind of normal, just really good at his job. Yeah, this is kind of the perfect way to open this game. Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. Huh. Guess you really are the best there is. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense because Integrate ha ends with uh, them arriving on the outskirts of Calm. And this this serves as a good way to get players up to speed on how to play on how the game plays. So honestly, yeah, kind of brilliant to start like this. Yeah, gross near the village and they're not nice what do you think I think I got this then they're all yours copy that all right type with the sword press the button after dodging to launch a ranged attack or hold the button to unleash an aerial combo okay <laughs> Oh, they You're done. It's on now. They greatly expanded how much you can do with just simple uh, square combos. If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? They definitely tuned up his movement for Brizio. Before, a square is always just a means to end on lot to unleash your better moves, but uh, I guess they took a lesson from Yuffie. Enemies will grow alerted to your presence as you approach. When the uh, gauge fills up, you come over.
finish this. Well, that's that. <laughs> Kill one I didn't even intend to target. Everybody's just rushing by me. Is that Mako? Whoa. Well, that's new. Oh, I'm sure this movement will apply to the full game. Nice. <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. I want to uh, block incoming attacks. Press circle and move out of harm's way. Try the triple slash. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. Okay, it's R three to lock onto an enemy. It used to be L one. Hostiles. Blocking is not going so well. There we go. Dodge, 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 and aerial attacks is best. No worries, Pipad. Soldier. Well done, Trooper. Thank you. I got the rest. Glad that guy was there. Oh, you get the. Oh, what's it called? Where you get to send out the air. Of, God, it's been so long. Oh, got that perfect thought. Uh... Oh, we got a limit break. We are going to use that. That's why not. We're done. Yeah, that'll work. We still have a long way to go. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then. How about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> you better. Cool. See you at the reactor. <laughs> he does such a good job at uh, playing this uh, younger cloud. Nah, I don't need a materia tutorial. We're good. Yeah, we got a cess. Yeah, 
tell you what we'll say. Alright, we dice. Thanks for... You're done. Piece of cake. Love how they're just casually walking up here as I'm clearing them all out. I did ask for it. Wonder if Ice still has a delayed release? You know what? We'll try that out. Blizzard spell being used. So yes, there is still a delayed impact on the ice uh, spell. Oh yeah, we're absolutely getting eye candy with all this, but you know, I'm okay with eye candy. That does not bother me in the slightest. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the ice delay doesn't seem too bad. Oh, look, it's those uh, little crevices that John hates <laughs> from the original. No sign of those for loading, though. Hey, not that way. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Yeah, it seems like they improved aerial combat, which was definitely a weakness of the original. Oh my god! <laughs> I just gave it. <laughs> I spoke too soon. We're still squeezing by uh, through little crevices. It's embedded into the game. It's just the way it should be. By the way, I never really looked to see if the top left was the best best spot for me, but it seems like it's working out. Nobody's complained yet, so that works. This way. Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. To think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Lead on. Yes! <laughs> Yay! to adjust. There's the Shinra we know and love. Ooh, level... That's new materia. Level boost. Wasn't this supposed to start earlier? Yes, but uh, it took a lot longer to download this than I thought it would, so... Yeah, this, this turned out to be a very big demo. Um... Let's go ahead and match it up with fire. I 
bad internet, a lot of people trying to download it at the same time. You know, there's there's all, any number of reasons, but I'm still glad I'm able to stream for everybody. A little later than I intended, but at least we're doing it. The way they're bringing back the classic enemies. Nice. Is he weak to fire? He is. That perfect block feels really good. Ginger, yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying this. <laughs> like I didn't, I made a point not to watch the uh, the show the uh, state of play, but I I could not resist playing the demo. Brings me back to when I got to play the demo at E3, and it was just one of those things where it was like. The reactor may absolutely mind blowing at the time. But there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako. Zamboni or something? Or is this a way to clean up the Mako poisoning? What is this? I need to do this, but I'm curious. No gas ah, I did need to Elevator do this. Huh. I didn't even notice the cord. Kind of box puddle puzzle, honestly more vacuum puzzle, which, okay. <laughs> nice. I have a feeling I know where this demo is going to end though. So weird to see a bench that we can't sit on. Come on. I noticed they're really emphasizing rain this time around. <clears throat> 
It was raining when you left Midgar at the end of Remake. It's raining when they reach Calm uh, in at the, the at that bonus scene at the end of Intergrade. Uh, it's raining at the beginning of the Nibelheim incident and or the Nibelheim uh, arrival. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. I can see why she. I remember why she's a bit nervous. And hmm. Oh God, no, 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 no. <laughs> I am afraid of heights. This would be awful. Ramu did not like this bridge. Tifa, are you okay? Not really. What are you? that guy? Oh no, we're not. Is hope that wasn't the one that tried to save Tifa. Notice how Barrett and uh, Aerith and the others are not commenting on this. That's a good point. He's in Fate's hands now. Do you know the way? <sighs> yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well... We certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. <laughs> ah, Sephiroth joined the party. Look at that. Yeah, we can climb now. There he is. Same level. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> oh my god, look at all this materia. Revival, healing, wind, magnify, fire, light. Okay, magnify on everything, all of his elements. Jeez. Yeah, still double cloud stats. That's a good point. There's our bench. HP up. Yeah, that's going to go on cloud. Here, are we just jumping right into the fight? 
Do I just jump around? Off you go. Oh. All right. Up or down? It's right to switch. Uh, Press uh, square slash for the best. Moon your hold to unleash a range attack. Landing a certain number of attacks will allow you to perform a certain branching finishers like pierce or sword dance with the triangle, filling your limit gauge. Press R1, uh, R1 to enter retaliation stance. While in this stance, press square at the right time to parry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Well, you want a demonstration for why uh, <laughs> Sephiroth is considered so powerful? That's a good. That's a good way to do it. Holy crap! And yeah, we're gonna just switch to him as party leader. Properly look at the uh, party leader thing. Where is it? Well, we'll just switch each time. Not a big deal. Uh, more Marco gas ahead. There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. Let's not waste any time. Marco, this thick is dangerous. Oh, God. <laughs> what a dodge. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. I've got to turn around. <laughs> Empowerment materia. That is definitely new materia. Uh, allows you to use physical magical attack strengthening spells. Pairing with warding materia grants resistance to physical and magic attack reduction. Eh, we don't really need to worry about that here. Call this the Sephiroth demo. I mean, might as well be called. Might as well be. this spot. Faith is magic up. Okay. Yeah, stat buffs. Probably good for later on. Don't need to worry about now. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? 
What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? <laughs> Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Lucky? To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. No kidding, Cloud. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. Casting that shade. We should press on. That trouble is cloud and just rip them apart as Sephiroth. I mean, it's fitting, but it's still just like wow. Even after all that, all this time, it just has that effect. Go ahead and cast. Ooh. Die. Trying to actually. Well, nobody let me use magic. <laughs> No, this is not on easy mode. This is this is uh, normal. But Sephiroth is essentially easy mode, so yeah. Oh wow! Kind of forgot the Mount Nebel was so close to the ocean. It's a nice touch. Had a harder time. I so. Oh, jeez. So I love uh, 7 Remake and, uh, like, extremely so. I actually streamed myself playing the entirety of uh, the game on hard mode uh, back in the day. Like, I pretty much did it after I beat the main game and I just wanted to play more. I was like, eh, maybe he'll be interested in me actually trying out the, the, the greater difficulty. Say, that one felt pretty good. And uh, I actually managed to beat the, the, the game on hard mode, uh, only dying once. The only boss fight I lost to uh, was Rufus. And that was like such a bummer. I got so close to the end without dying at all. Didn't even die to Sephiroth. <laughs> NP, I'm not sure why you're watching if you don't enjoy the game. Like, I, I don't mind people not enjoying this game. I understand there's, there's legit criticisms to be had, but why are you watching?
Or you're just looking for something to uh, to maybe bring yourself in. Which I hope you know. Actually, I hope that you find something that you'll that you enjoy about this game. You just gotta keep an open mind, you know. But if not, you know, no big deal. that you're finding a lot of material to kind of mess with Cloud's build if you really want to. Oh god. Synergy. Oh, they brought Synergy back from... Uh, oh, makes sense because of the other thing. Um, while guarding with R1, you can team up with allies to perform a variety of Synergy skills. Useful abilities that do not consume, consume ATB cages, uh, gate charges. No skills differ depending on which character is being actively controlled. Press... Uh, Bring it on. Counter did not work. We can do. Yeah, gotta be careful. Oh, he is all the way up to Kiraga. Jeez. Inflicting enough damage or exploring an elemental weakness will place the enemy in a pressure state. Uh, yeah, I don't do that. I did not know that before this point. Striking sacrifice with triangle uh, unique abilities. And quick Yeah, it, it definitely feels like the original, and not as, uh, I mean, obviously it's not turn-based and all that, but, you know, the seeing the locations and all that and everything, trust me, the, the, I'm going to be a bit biased because Final Fantasy VII, the original Final Fantasy VII was my very first RPG. I've played it a lot. <laughs> Defense focus. Well, that's that. Yeah, you can really just rotate. I uh, I believe I played OG seven on release year, yeah. It might have been a little after. I'm not sure. I can't remember the exact year, but I remember it being pretty fresh. Like, Final Fantasy VIII was definitely not out yet. Um, I had a friend who was ba uh, was that, that was basically just like, hey, you need to check out this game. And he let me borrow his copy of Final Fantasy VII. And... Oh, auto 
cast material. That's that'll be useful. That'll be perfect on healing uh, abilities. Um, but yeah, he let me borrow the game. It was my very first RPG, and it's just like, good god, it's just. I didn't. I had no idea that up to that point that games could have stories like that, and it just became made me a massive SquareSoft fan, Square uh, RPG fan, and uh, they do it to this day. Um, but the funny thing is, the other game he let me borrow was Resident Evil 2, and I love Resident Evil now. But at the time, I was garbage at that game. I didn't even make it to the police station in the original Resident Evil 2 because, well, he wasn't there. To, he just let me borrow the game. He didn't actually give it to me. Uh, he wasn't there to like, guide me or anything like that. He just, like, yeah, figure it out. Um, and so I was still, like, used to fighting things. So I tried to fight all the zombies in that opening sequence surrounding the car. Uh, that doesn't turn out so well. Tried it on uh, with um, Leon, tried it with Claire. Yeah, I died so many times that I just gave up. <laughs> uh, I should have went forward first. I wondered if I should have went for that nearby one first, but I'm like, well, I can't go that. I can't go that way the rest of the way, so I might as well just get go from the other end. And that was not the right choice. I really wish, because I've never gone back and played the original Resident Evil 2. Um, I was always hoping for a Resident Evil 1 style uh, remake, and never happened, but we did get the other remake, which is great. Holy crap, Keaton Kasune, thank you so much! Fifty dollars! Um, wow. Uh, I got a new JRPG not too long ago, Grand Boo Fantasy Relink, uh, but it just makes my heart ache for Skies of Arcadia. Do you think Sega will ever remaster or re-release Skies in Panzer Dragoon Saga? I think Skies is a possibility in the future. The way they're looking at old franchises now, I think that could happen. Um, Panzer Dragoon Saga is a much more uh, difficult prospect because one, it's for Saturn. Two, I'm pretty sure they lost the code. So they basically have to rework that game from scratch. Uh, and that's, you know, would definitely be a costly endeavor that may or may not be worth it. Like, back in the day, it might have been worth it, but now there is, among older fans, there's definitely that reverence to um, Panzer Dragoon Saga, but how many younger fans are aware of Saga? But Skies of Arcadia, I think that is ripe for a remake that could do very well. At least I hope so. I have Skies of Arcadia on GameCube, but I haven't had a chance to actually uh, try it out. A little dark. There we go. Eyes adjusted. Up ahead, looks like a way out. This is totally boss territory. <laughs> Fight the materia keeper? Oh, we're totally fighting the materia keeper. Oh, that's awesome. Nice idea to have it here. 
wish I hadn't. It thinks we're out of material. Material garden. So tell it we're not. <laughs> what can be my guess? Guys, a little bit more uh, powerful than I was expecting. Oh god, getting away from that. Oh, cloud. Certain enemies have individual body parts that can be targeted and attacked. Destroy these discrete parts, uh, pressure your phone. Okay. Not doing so great. Rookies. Rookies. I've got this. Drop! Get me out of here! Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Well, let's have you do that focus thrust. Get it together. Poor cloud. His health only goes down so much. On me. Nice. That reminds me, Cloud, we should have you assess. I got this. So go for the legs. Uh, uh, assess. All right, weak to fire. Good. You're practically panting. I'm excited. <laughs> Such a puppy. I think I remember that from a trailer. <laughs> He's beefing up. Turn the tables on the beast in the of the mountain with a coordinated attack from Cloud and Sephiroth. Use their double helix synergy ability uh, from the commands menu to bring the kit material gun crashing down. Don't oh like God. the looks of this. Stay alert. Stay alert. Follow my lead. Copy. Oh, here it is. Go. 
god, the music. <laughs> Oh yeah, Clyde's got captured. Probably should do something about that. Alright. Oh, Sephiroth has his limit break. The Octo Slash. Straight to a smash! <laughs> Not really, but... Makes you amazed that Cl uh, Cloud can keep up with him at the nice end of work. the first game. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil. Trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, it's coming. Oh, I will. I will. I wonder if they keep going. Daniel Vargas, thank you very much no for that two dollars uh, super I chat. Do I think you. the third will come out around twenty-seven? It's a very real possibility. They probably have already started development. Come on. Keep the if it's anything like this game. Carry on. You better keep me safe. This guy's like, oh, God. <laughs> I really wanted to see the reactor. <sighs> Would it kill this guy to say something? Maybe. I really wanted to see the reactor. I like how there's a few areas you can tell are just going to be for the revisit. Actually, fully check him out. Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. Knowing Shinra? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. <laughs> yeah, right. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by RD. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. A demonstration of what happens when Hojo's in charge. just nailed the soundtrack. I mean, no surprise after the first game, but seriously. Uh, yeah, I have the haptic feedback one, because I don't I don't mind haptic feedback. I kind of enjoy it to, to a degree. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first?
Hojo, you are really something. Ugh, that thing's ugly. What are those things? I like that we're actually fixing the problem this time around, because we didn't actually do anything in the original. Not that I remember, anyway. Fancy with this one. Hard to say, Keaton. I mean, it seems like there's definitely some things being rewritten, but there's also, it's holding much truer than people thought that they might be uh, based off the end ending of Remake. So, uh,. Rebirth is the one I've been uh, very interested in ever since the end of Remake because this is the one, this is to me what sells that concept or not. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial material. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators, cages for animals, infused with Mako. To birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. I wonder if they would keep this scene. Joe is definitely the true villain of uh, Final Fantasy VII, let's be real. Am I even human? Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? <laughs> he left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. This is a pretty meaty demo, gotta say.
There's some amazing foreshadowing here if you've played the original. It's easy to pick up on those little hints. <laughs> I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Celebrities. Hmm. Sephiroth. Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. BC uh, King Games, do I think Rebirth will come to Switch 2? That's hard to say. But the man was not in a good mood. Hmm. Sephiroth. Ah, I did. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. This theme. I saw Sephiroth making a beeline for the manor. Wonder why. Looking for Sephiroth takes priority. If you're looking for Sephiroth, I saw him headed toward the mansion. Sephiroth wasn't looking so hot when he passed by. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town, and older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's <laughs> sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Hey Heather, thanks for joining. We are toward, I feel like we're towards the end of this demo, so. Because there's not too much time left on the, uh, on the flashback, and I'm going to have to assume that's where it ends. Oh god, the manor. Took a look around the place, but... Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Speaking of Resident Evil. <laughs> now that's new. Huh. This whole uh, is this whole rebirth meant to be a remake of the all uh, or all new content that wasn't the original? A little bit of both. It's a reimagining that expands on some things, but it's also very obvious that's going on a very different direction than seven. Um, than the original seven. Man, they're, they're, wow, they get rid of the second floor. Huh, that's fascinating. I guess they didn't want to keep the spiral staircase. Um, it's, yeah, it doesn't replace the original. Instead, it's, well, let's just say there's a double meaning to the name remake for the original. Never knew it had a basement. It was news to me, too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. And probably there's going to be a double meaning to rebirth as well. Let's be honest. Back. I wonder. I wonder if a certain someone's in there. Well, will be there. I don't know if he's there yet. Oh, these, this is important. That's extremely important right there. Yep, there he is. Excellent. 
excavated from a 2,000-year-old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. MEGL 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. It actually got years. Uh, MEGL 913 1977. Genova Project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, They grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. Oh, wow. And that was it. They stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Awesome. This is just so well done. We got Genova. Fitting. Night of the seventh day. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. And ancients. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. <laughs> At least he <it> got comfy. <laughs> come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. How the heck did you get that she idea? a name. And so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gath. Wondrous experiment! He created you? Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> They're definitely doing a better job of showing him snapping. Flash. Hey, hey, hold on. I keep asking myself. Why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Hmm. Or tried, at least. 
Makes me wonder how similar the scene is, scene is in Crisis Core. I've, I've not played Crisis Core Reunion. Oh boy. Hey, you! Get in there! The villagers need your help! You didn't need to do this. This wasn't on the way to the uh, reactor. Let me throw my son to him there. I'm sorry, he's gone. <laughs> God. <clears throat> So yeah, remember all the kids? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. Sephiroth? But he... Why would he... Just doing exercises. Agonizing to be walking like this. <laughs> Who's the bigger Final Fantasy fan, me or Ash? I'd say we're equal. Almost there. There are certain Final Fantasy games I've yet to play. The biggest one that I still get, uh, uh, like people are amazed by, that I, I've not, I've never actually played through the entirety of Final Fantasy VI. I think Ash has probably played more games, but I might have played other games that he has not. I'm not 100% sure. I've definitely played more of Final Fantasy XIV than him. <laughs> Please. Please be okay. Sephir. That's effective. Cloud at his lowest. Stop. 
Oh, that's not. That's a bad idea. Don't get closer to him, you idiots. <laughs> And they don't immediately start shooting him after all this. Thank you, Xander. I th think you should realize this is a bad plan. That's a little bit more effective than the original. I'm coming. A hat stomp uh, is just a sign of that uh, Sephiroth is tired of cowboys. Sephiroth! There it is. Chanting is so good. <laughs> oh my god. Press any button for one more sneak peek. You know what? Do I want the sneak peek? How how big of a sneak peek is it? <laughs> That's all I'll ask. Brandon, you probably know. Do it. Part of the trailer from the state of play. Press the button. All right. I'm back now, Aerith. I'm back. I won't say that it was Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The black materia, key to our oblivion. You should oh, wow. get yourself a reading. <laughs> Red, how do we look? Huh? Hey, Casta del Sol. It's got to be hiding some ginormous materia. This looks fantastic. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. You'll need a way home. So when you're ready, I'll be here. You said that Sephiroth is your foe. I have a history with him. With all of his goddamn blood on my hands. How could I ever hold my daughter again? Those we hate. Those we love. Those we fear. Genova would become anyone to fool her prey. Don't do this! But I'm no fool. Oh my god. Here. Take it. This isn't about me, though. It's about saving the world. And you. A reunion. When spite and sorrow are harvested. To feed the planet. No! My god. <laughs> oh my god. Twenty two days. Twenty two days. 
Oh, by having completed the Nibelheim flashback, you will gain access to the Junon portion of the gen demo once it becomes available via an update. In the soon to be released segment, you will be able to control Cloud, Barret, Tifa, Aerith, and Red 13 as they fight challenging foes in both the open wilds of Junon and in Chadley's combat simulator. Ah, oh, that's back. Check back for more information on the upcoming Junon demo. Note that this elements of this section have been streamlined for the demo and will differ from the final game. I don't know if I'll be playing that, I'll be honest. I think, uh... I think this is just enough of a teaser. I'm good. <laughs> oh. Wow. I mean, I it's not like I didn't have faith that this was going to be good. <laughs> that, let's be honest. I, I knew it was going to be good. Um... Oh yeah, this is this this it's gonna be hard for something to beat the this game as far as game of the my game of the year. The question is will they will they actually get the like nail the landing? Middle chapters are tough. Will they nail the landing and make this section as good as 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 good as it could be? Especially because there's so many unknowns that could happen after all of this. So, yeah, that's that's going to be the real interesting thing here, because I feel like if they're going to truly diverge at any point, it's going to be at the end of this game. How it diverges, that's the big question. But even if it fails the even if it fails the end, um, I think the actual journey to that end is going to be a lot of fun. So. We'll see how it all ends up, and I am, I do find myself to be kind of forgiving, but yeah, I think I think the lead up to the end, no matter what, I think the gameplay itself will be just fine and really good. Um, so yeah, we'll just have to see. Oh, okay. Well, that is the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth demo. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for it. It was a lot of fun. I am. Hype beyond measure. Cannot wait to play more. And uh, we'll have to see how it all ends up. I'm... I'm excited. <laughs> oh, goodness. Bring it on. Let's do it. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you so much for those super chats. And um, I had a good time. Hope you did, did as well. And, uh, yeah. We'll see you... Hopefully very soon for uh, what's next for the channel. And I'm pretty sure that uh, next time we'll be doing a stream will be on Friday for the GVG cast. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. Otherwise, uh, we've got plenty of other mater uh, material, uh, you know, videos coming. And uh, till then, thank you all so much. And see you all very soon. Till then. Bye.